it's not my fault. <laughs> I seem to hear this as a parent sometimes, but uh, you know, that's sometimes as a parent, what you need to do is be sort of a, I guess, a fault manager because sometimes it is somebody's fault, even though you don't want to point fingers. Hi, I'm Dave Stewart. I'm an engineering manager in the uh, Open Source Technology Center at Intel. And one of the things you have to do is, uh, you know, as a processor manufacturer, you, you got to really think about faults as they, you know, exist within the system because, you know, I was actually talking to an experienced data center manager just yesterday and he was telling me um, he often doesn't see the processor failing. I mean, he hardly ever sees processors fail. Um, it's other stuff that fails like memory and things like that. So uh, why would we be so concerned about fault management? Well, we are really building some great uh, capabilities within the processor to help you, you know, detect when a failure happens, particularly when it's something that's correctable so you can take some action. On the operating system side, Solaris and Open Solaris have some great fault management features. They have this fault management architecture, what they often refer to as predictive self-healing. And this really helps you, um, you know, take great action uh, if there's a fault that happens. You know, without FMA, you know, you think about it, you've got a hardware fault that happens and, you know, various pieces of system software might, you know, complain about it and ultimately you got, well, geez, this is kind of a mess. What do I do? Uh, in fact, with FMA, then instead, uh, all of the fault information by all the different levels of software is then vectored to agents which then uh, take action, whether it's uh, some healing action of some sort or, or taking some stuff offline or doing other things. So um, can we marry the two together? Can we take this great fault management architecture and some of the features that we're putting into the processor and uh, I want to talk about some new features in our, our new processors that really are working extremely well with FMA. And so let me tell you a little bit about that. Again, this is our new Intel Core Microarchitecture. This is, uh, you know, formerly codenamed Nehalem, if you knew about that. But the uh, fault management architecture is the feature within the operating system within Solaris. Uh, and in this case, you know, think about this. We've got a processor here. And one of the reasons why this is very uh, interesting for dealing with Intel is because, again, we've got our memory controllers built into the processor now with, with the core microarchitecture. So if you can kind of think about it, now we're, you know, much more, you know, kind of intimately involved with failures that might happen in the memory. Now, uh, for many years, we've had something called the machine check architecture. Machine check architecture, is, or MCA, is a way that you can organize uh, reporting for various errors or faults that happen, right? So within the processor, you'll have these what are called MCA banks. Uh, I think the existing processor probably has about 22 of these banks for different errors that can be reported. And typically, it's a little bit like, uh, you know, let's say a memory uh, component has a failure of some sort. You know, maybe it's a corrected error, right? You've got a, like an, an ECC, you know, you've got a, a single bit that's wrong that was corrected. Uh, you know, and then what the processor typically traditionally would do is, you know, like stick a note under a stump, you know, sort of, you know, stick this thing in there and hope that uh, somebody comes along later to take the note out from under the stump and then read it and say, oh, there's something going on here. So um, traditionally what operating systems would do is, you know, kind of poll and, and look at these periodically to see if an error has shown up, see if a note had shown up under the stump. Uh, so in this case, uh, what's new with the new core microarchitecture is we have what's called the corrected machine check interrupt. So now instead of polling behavior, you actually can get an interrupt generated as soon as that information is there. This is, leads to much more efficiency, uh, more reliability. The operating system can then pick up and field this interrupt and say, oh, I need to take some action. With uh, then the fault management architecture, what it can do is start recording these soft errors. And when it's exceeded a threshold, it can start taking some action. Maybe what you want to do is then if it sees enough of these errors, it counts them up and it says, I'm going to retire this memory page because um, of these, I've gotten enough of these soft errors, it's just not, you know, working very well. Now, the other cool thing about FMA is it will actually track, you know, like the serial number of the memory itself and that, um, you know, then if you reboot the system, uh, it actually has this persistence of memory, if you will, about, you know, failing components and issues that have been there, so it, it retires the memory before you can have any more soft errors. That's very nice, and so that sort of says we have, uh, you know, really kind of a consistent way of dealing with failures and faults. You know, we're constantly looking at these things, not only with the architecture of the chip, but also the architecture of the operating system, and we look out ahead as to what new things that we can put in to, to really marry these things up together, and I'm very excited about some new uh, features and things that are coming into future generations of our chips in this whole area of 
reliability and availability and serviceability. So I think you're going to see some really great new stuff come along. So I would suggest you go to opensolaris.org if you really want to participate with us on this. Um, this is some uh, great new stuff that's coming out in, in the new releases of Open Solaris and the Solaris 10 updates. Um, I'd love for you to, to join us in the open source community, get involved in the Intel Platform Project, and check out how we're doing this corrected machine check interrupt uh, support and uh, get involved with us so that we don't have to point fingers about whose fault it is, but we can manage our faults uh, much more effectively.